This one's called Wrath of Panda, as you can see. Um, the game's pretty chill, but the pandas have red eyes and they look kind of evil. They got some sort of mallet. Um, this game, it's I think it's Chinese based. I'm not sure. Forgive me if that's not Chinese. I'm, I'm just assuming. Um, I tried to learn it how um, in English. Um, obviously here it's all in English, but some of it's kind of broken English, so I kind of had to just poke around and figure out what's going on. Um, basically, it's a three matching game. So you've got um, these little shrubs. Um, if I place them and get three in a row or three touching, they morph into something else. So it progresses. It's basically a three progress game. Um, it doesn't. The things don't disappear like in uh, Candy Crush. In this, they uh, they progress. They morph into something else. So I've got these two on this side. Little pagoda looking thing right there, and it'll go morph right there wherever the last one is that I put. Um, and the goal of the game, I guess, is just get as many points as possible. Um, if you trap these pandas, they become stones, and if you trap three of them in a row or touching, then they become some sort of, I don't know, some sort of structure. Um, and there are some other um, little deals on here that they, they can either take um, items away that you have, or um, if you only have two, I say this and this, and that one's that shrub wasn't there, the tree wasn't there. You put it here, it'll take these, and it'll become the third item. So, um, I don't know if you don't quite get it yet, just watch me play. I'll play through it until I either lose or I lose interest. <laughs> this is the one that takes stuff away, this guy right here. I can't put it on anything right there, but if I put it on a stone panda, it takes them away. Um, now there is six slots here. I can only choose from two at the moment. But I imagine as you progress through the game, you can get more and more. More pandas. Try to trap some of these guys. Watch these three will all um, turn into stone and then they'll combine into. I'm not sure what that is. Well, the sound is pretty chill, it's just birds chirping in the background, as you hear in the woods or at a park with trees. Um, it's pretty relaxing. Um, the sound is a little broken at times. Yeah, see, as you can tell right there, it stops, and I think it just recycles the really small soundtrack. But the, the individual sounds when you click on whatever um, are pretty clean and crisp. Enjoy the game, I think it's pretty cool. It's something you can play at the airport or on the bus or if you're sitting shotgun in a car, what have you. Provided you don't get motion sickness. different achievements achievements I've gotten a couple on here so normally when you first start you get a whole bunch more but I've already gotten some of the achievements so not a whole lot's popping up and as you get further and further um, there's less space to place things. But to just try to combine three of any given item, it'll take two of those spaces away and progress into the next item in the last spot that you touched where you placed it. And this is 
course, and this is on the iPhone right here. So I imagine it works on the iPhone, iTouch, um, iPad, of course. Um, but I'm not sure if it's out for Android. If it's not, I don't know if it will be. But it is a fun game nonetheless. Even if it doesn't look too enthralling, um, I thought I'd play for a minute or so and be bored, but it actually caught my attention. I've been going on it this morning. About an hour or so. And then there's this evil guy. Well, super evil looking panda. I'm just got the red eyes like the rest and then red cape. You place him anywhere and he'll jump around to any other given spaces. Like if I place that right there, he will. There he goes. I'm running out of spots. I'm going to do my best to just end it right here. Show you what the end looks like. You can buy extra stuff. I don't. I guess it's a freemium game. Um, you can buy stuff with real money or the little coins that come in the game that you earn. Then you can buy. Ah, this to work. You can buy um, those coins with real money. So game over. You restart and share your score. I think it's a pretty fun little game. Again, it's called Wrath of Panda. Um, I recommend it if you have. Just, I don't know. If you're in Candy Crush and you play that every once in a while, just whenever you get some free time, uh, go with this one. Pretty cool.